Hi, everyone. Thanks for making the left turn. For today, Sunday, May 11th, 2014, I'm George Favar, and welcome back to History Jacksonville, a continuing series here on the Jack's Left channel focusing on the history of Jacksonville. And within our History Jacksonville series, we have another episode of Our Forgotten Downtown. Now, in our first episode of Our Forgotten Downtown, I focused on buildings and landmarks that I felt had been forgotten over the years. This building that we're looking at now, 11 East Forsyth, previously known as the Lynch Building, previously known as the headquarters of the American Heritage Life Insurance Company. This building, of course, is not what you would say is forgotten. It's quite prominent. But there's a, some stories behind it behind the personality that made this building possible in the 1920s I'd like to talk about, and it will add some insight, some flavor uh, into uh, what makes Jacksonville a unique, special place. You know, we keep coming back to the fact that a lot of our great architectural treasures were built in the 1920s, and so I want to talk a little bit about that as well. And so let's go ahead. Let's take a look uh, at uh, this building and uh, what's going on. So uh, it was built for a developer named S.A. Lynch, Stephen Andrew Lynch. And he was a film magnet, a motion pictures magnet, who bought up theaters and had a lot of stock in Paramount Pictures. He bought up a lot of theaters in the South, and he distributed Paramount Pictures films uh, through those theaters and made a lot of money. By the mid-20s, he had made so much money, he decided to get into real estate and into development. And so he had this building constructed in the mid-1920s. Before the Wells Fargo building, before the SunTrust building before the Barnett Center, which later became the Bank of America building. Uh, the Wells Fargo had been the Independent Life building long before the buildings that you see here, these skyscrapers, uh, were constructed. And before the old main branch of the Jacksonville Public Library was constructed. Uh, the old library was constructed in the mid-1960s. The uh, Independent Life Building wasn't built until the mid-1970s. And then uh, this, uh, this skyscraper, the Bank of America Tower, uh, wasn't built until the uh, late 80s, early 90s. So, and of course, this parking garage wasn't here. So, uh, it's a survivor. Uh, it's managed to survive, and so we'll go ahead and we'll talk about some more about this building, and we'll roll some film. So let's roll it. Here's a close-up. And you can notice that there are a lot of windows. Uh, the uh, windows enable, of course, uh, a lot of fresh air to come into the building before air conditioning. Now, of course, you see they're shut up tight because... Uh, this building has air conditioning. But in the 1920s, there was no major air conditioning uh, capable. There was, there was just not what you would think of today as modern central AC. And so these windows, as you see that there are a lot of them, uh, would enable airflow in, into, a, into the building. Uh, and so, uh, and of course, you see it, uh, it uh, towering over the old main branch of the Jacksonville Public Library. And so uh, uh, it's fascinating that that building itself uh, will be renovated uh, in time uh, for a hub uh, for nonprofit organizations. And uh, I learned to read in that building. It was known as the Hayden Burns Public Library. I filmed this during one spark in April 2014.
The American Heritage Life Insurance Company made this their headquarters in 1962. They later left in the late 1980s. So from the 1980s until 2002, the building was abandoned. And then it was renovated in 2002 with uh, some generous loans to make the development possible. And you can see the fascinating, the fascinating detail uh, over these windows. Uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, incredible detail. The tenants uh, will move in, and it was it was a uh, it has been a struggle, uh, especially in downtown. And you can see, of course, the uh, the old Hayden Burns Library. I want to thank you for watching the Jack's Left channel, and I want to thank you for checking out History Jacksonville and all that we have uh, to offer through History Jacksonville and through our special uh, series from time to time, Who Runs Jacksonville, I on the Jacksonville City Council, uh, and uh, the best is yet to come. And so thanks for watching. Take it easy. See you later.